Okay, let's see how we actually build stuff in Composition Tool. First of all, we need to select a uh, building tool, and we do that by pressing 1. Uh, it's a green arrow, and uh, it's the um, center of your screen, and uh, it's the place where the object will be built. Okay, now in order to, uh, this green arrow means that there's nothing in your hands currently, no objects picked in order to, uh, for them to be built. Now, to, to actually take something in your hand, we press 1 again. And uh, by default, first object of first category will be selected, which is, uh, by coincidence, uh, this blue sink. And uh, we can select objects we want to build with the object browser and open it with the space. It's uh, just space rather than in add an editor, uh, it is shift space in there. Now let's select some object, maybe this tent. And as you can see, when we click left mouse button in object browser, uh, object change to this tent. Now we can place objects by pressing left mouse button. And as you can see, our hands are empty, empty again and object placed and there is an icon in the center of this object this means that object is actually placed and saved uh, in the map now we can take object back again to our hands by pressing 1 and actually we can do quite the opposite by pressing 1 again we can do that multiply times so uh, now we can actually place multiply objects like those uh, bricks for example uh, to do that we hold the control and press left mouse button as long as we want to add them now you see there is uh, one more copy of this object and actually we don't need that so we basically press 1 in order to it disappear so it won't uh, like take the screen from us and um, here we go that's how we build objects now additionally let's see uh, what we can do in order to rotate an object well while in the preview mode uh, you see this pr uh, this is the preview object which is the under cursor because there's no mm, icon in the center of it and um, uh, before it actually placed we can rotate it and we do that by holding shift and use mouth, mouse wheel we can also change the object height by holding alt and using your mouse wheel again Okay, let's uh, now see uh, how we can actually manipulate stuff here. Uh, move around objects or uh, maybe rotate it. To do that, there is a select tool and we switch to that by pressing 2. We can switch forth and back. And uh, we can also change the size of this select sphere by pressing tab. Now we work with the small objects, so let's make the cursor small. Now, in order to actually select building, we need to point it and press left mouse button. Now, as you can see, uh, the icon turned green means the object is selected. And there is a strange line pointing somewhere out there. We will get back to this line a little bit later. For now, let's just ignore it. Now, we can select multiply objects by holding shift and continue selecting them. We can also deselect object from the current selection by keep holding the shift and pressing left mouse button on those objects we don't want to be selected.
And of course we can select them back and forth, no problem. Now it is not necessary to actually point uh, the object with this course uh, with the select sphere. We can actually hit uh, the selection left mouse button uh, when the sphere is close to the object and it will still be selected. So we don't need to be very precise in this. Now this is how the select tool works in uh, camera mode. In cursor mode it works a little bit different. Let's go to the cursor mode by hitting caps lock and as you can see there's no sphere whatsoever uh, you actually select stuff just the same way but with your mouse cursor you can also hold shift to select multiply items and you can deselect items by holding shift and uh, left mouse button them again and besides that you have a frame selection to do that you just hold left mouse button to draw frame and when you release it all objects inside this will be selected now uh, of course you can click somewhere where is nothing near and you can cancel the selection now you can also uh, select few objects and in order to add to this selection you can make a frame additional selection. To do that you hold shift and draw another frame. Now as you can see those objects added to the selection and you can add more. You can also delete from the selection by holding ALT and draw frame around objects that you don't want to be in selection Now, when we're done with the methods of selection, let's actually see what we can do with the objects when they are selected. Let's start with the camera mode. Let's select few objects here and there. Now, in order to move objects around, you have to grab them. And you grab object by, holding, by pressing right mouse button. Now, as you can see, those objects are moved around with the camera. And you can release them by pressing left mouse button. As you can see, the selection is still there, so we can, we don't like how they fit, we can grab them again and maybe just move them a little bit. You can also grab any object from the selection as the center. As you can see this object that I uh, that I grabbed it's uh, uh, stay at the center of the screen. And it works same in the cursor mode. We can click it and it will stay under the cursor. We can move around of course or maybe this one or tent now we can also rotate objects and we do this by holding shift and using your mouse wheel as you can see all objects are rotating simultaneously but around their centers right it is also possible to around all the selected objects around one certain point. To do that, 
we have to go to the rotation mode uh, by pressing Control Q. Now, as you can see, rotating mode is set to common orientation. Now, what what this means is objects will be rotated around the mouse cursor. Or we can rotate all objects around one of those objects by pointing it. This works the same in the cursor mode. We can point certain place and then with mouse wheel and shift rotate object objects around this point. We can even move while doing this and it will give us rather strange results not particularly useful but anyway we can do this with other objects not in the selection they will also rotate Now we can change the height of the objects by holding ALT and using your mouse wheel. This will change the, of course, it will change the height of the all objects that are selected. Now there is uh, one more additional way to manipulate object and it's called special grab. You can uh, special grab object by hitting alt right mouse button and uh, it doesn't matter how much object you've selected only one object will be special grabbed and um, let's try it. Again alt and the ref, uh, right mouse button. Now as you can see the object is uh, uh, attached to your camera you can move around with this object and uh, for example if you want to play it, place it on the roof you can pretty much fly into it you can slow down your camera speed in order to be much much more precise in this and assuming you have found the good place but you are not sure because you might be uh, missing something from this point of view let's uh, press left mouse button once now we are in a preview mode and we can fly around and see if object plays correctly now you can see that something is here and it's actually not what you want. Now you can press the left mouse button again and the camera will go back to where it was uh, before you press left mouse button and object is in your control so you can slightly slightly change its position maybe a little bit press left mouse button again and you can preview how you placed it. Now, if it doesn't suit you, if you don't like it, you can press left mouse button once more, change it a little bit, maybe like this, press left mouse button again, see if it's all nice and good, and when you're happy with the result, you can press Alt right mouse button, and the result will be saved. Now object is pressed is uh, positioned precisely. Okay, just a few things to deal with. We can actually copy the selection by pressing Control C, and we can pass the selection by pressing Control V. We can do this multiply times. Also, it is possible to delete objects with the delete button, obviously.
Now let's see how can we place one object on top of other. Now for that, let's select this lamp. And as you can see, the lamp goes through the pellets. Now in order to activate the stick mode, we press Ctrl S. And as you can see, now object is placed on the surface. Now let's place it. We can also place another lamp on. That's it. It is also possible to place objects by dragging dropping them. Like this. Or you can do it in a coarser mode. It's exactly the same.